Hey, Sooner Football fans, this is your Sooner Football Fans podcast. An immediate response to the uh, Sooners losing to the Kansas State Wildcats. Uh, Boomer Rob. Boomer Terry. Big 12 ref sucks, Caleb, yes? Oh, understatement. They're terrible. So th- this this is a, a new territory for us at Sooner Football Fans podcast. Coming at you from the uh, Podcast Palace in Norman, Oklahoma, where uh, Rob is um, on the phone with us because he watched the game at Buffalo Wild Wings. We watched it here at the Podcast Palace. But um, there's some controversy brewing across um, Sooner Nation right now, and Caleb demanded that we do a podcast. Not only me, a lot of fans. A lot of fans are upset. Uh, Uh, First, when we first lost, when we first lost, I accepted a loss. I was like, all right, we lost. It sucks. And then when more rules came out, how uh, stuff came out, the rules came out. I was like, hey, this isn't right right now. And I got more and more angry, and we have to do this now. Yeah, so um, first off, hats off to Kansas State and their offense for um, basically, um, Rob, how do we put it? Um, I don't know, showing our defense that maybe uh, there's still some holes in it. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, definitely. The first three quarters, I mean, we, we, well, we just didn't play very well at all. So it's hard to say, was was it just a bad game for us, or is that who we are? So that's, you know, that's what Sooner fans are probably upset most about, I think. Yeah, I mean, we could not get off the field during this game. I mean, at all. We had a three and out. Sooner fans were pumped. I was pumped. We were all pumped. It's like, there we go. You know, hey, the speed D is here, but the uh, the defense, the rest of the game after the first uh, three and out, just could not get off the field. And you can never leave it up to the refs, but that's what Oklahoma did. Uh, well, you can't you can't play three quarters of lousy, lousy football. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then come back in the fourth quarter, and, and you know, I mean, do I feel like that the refs got us a little bit? Yeah. But it should have never been in that. Right. You know, we it should have been. It shouldn't even been that. Right. So. I mean, we, what 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 was it? Uh, forty eight to twenty three going into the fourth quarter. You yeah. know, kudos. I mean, to Lincoln and the offense for pulling it within a touchdown. But still, I mean, you. This was the worst offense, right, Caleb? It's the yeah, worst, it's the worst offense, offense Big Twelve in the Big today. Twelve, and going against the best defense in the Big Twelve, and just. You know, the the Sooner defense just got hammered all day long. Second best defense in the Big 12. Oh, okay. (laughs) Second to Kansas State, right? Yeah. So. And here's the sad thing, Terry. If we play like this again, we could lose to Oklahoma State, Baylor, and Iowa State. And, um, you know, Piedmont High School. I mean, (laughs) come on. (laughs) This is why I want to see us get hit in the face, because I thought our defense was good, but they haven't been hit in the face yet. This is why I want to see it. And when it happened, I was mad, upset, and regretted everything I said. So before we get into the details of the onside kick, um, we're all going to try to place blame on on each other. Okay, Rob, you ready for this? (laughs) Oh, boy, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, number one, um, I wore a new – we're not a new, but my new um, Sooners hockey jersey today at home to watch the game. Not my baseball jersey that I've wore every week uh, so far this year. And, you know, I changed it, but maybe it was too late. So that's, you know, issue number one. Caleb, you want to throw out issue number two? I mean, the Sooner Schooner curse. The I mean, Sooner Schooner curse. Uh, Rhett, if you're listening right now, I blame you guys right now. The Roughnecks for going crazy on that turn. And it, the last time it fell over, who we lose to? The the game after the la- it fell over in the nineties, and the and uh, the Sooners lost the game following that to Kansas State at Kansas State at Kansas. And State. when was the last time we lost at Kansas State? That game. Oh dang! Wow. So, so Rob, and now here's the thing: there was another, <laughs> there was another, um, there was another issue with this game. What was it, Caleb? I I wore the wrong jersey. I was I was wearing shorts like yeah, I had all year. I wore <laughs> jeans today. Like so was, Rob wasn't here. Rob. Yeah, Rob wasn't here at the house. 
Um, so we take our blame. But, Rob, here's the thing. Uh, now, also, Kate, Lincoln changed his shirt at halftime. Yeah, Kate, it, and that's the deal. Lincoln changed his shirt at halftime. Rob, you're going to have to change. And Rob said Wednesday, what did Rob say, uh, Wednesday that Lincoln doesn't believe in that stuff. Yeah. Obviously, he does <laughs> believe in that stuff. But but here's the thing, Rob. Okay. Um, you told Caleb on the last podcast that if we lose this game, you might believe, start believing in the superstitions that are associated with Oklahoma football and our superstitions. So where are I you tell at you, I on tell you what I do. I tell you what I do believe, Terry. <laughs> okay. I, have, I have become a believer that y'all need serious uh, <laughs> therapy. No, come on, That's Rob. No, come on. You, you cannot – you can't deny this fact that Oklahoma has not lost – to Kansas State since the game after in like I think it was 1992. 19, yes, long time ago. That the the schooner tipped over at a home game, and the next week the Sooners lost to Kansas State. Here we are in 2019, undefeated, undefeated, and the Sooner schooner tips over at a home game, and the next week we play Kansas State on the road, and it tips okay. over. Okay, okay. Well, how do you explain this? Okay. I'm wearing I, the clothes that I'm wearing. We've never lost in the clothes that I'm wearing today. So how do you explain that? Well, because they probably never won before. What'd you wear for game one? Because <laughs> me and Dad wear the same thing over and over again. So what'd you wear game one? Well, but but may, what what <laughs> our point is, or Caleb's point is, is that maybe the. Uh, college, the, the the schooner tip over Juju is greater than anything we yeah, could have done. College football is weird. Like college football is weird. Something like that happens. It's just like changes everything. I mean, it's just not only OU. Like it, Bebo dies next <laughs> takes the win the next game. It happens all the time. It's something weird about college football that something bad happens. It's either, honestly you guys you guys the superstitions are kind of exhausting. Oh how come you, on, Rob! How can you it's not, live like, it's not like, like that. that? I don't even understand. Rob, it's not like how us. you can do that. It's like ninety percent of our listeners it's right 90%. now are, are feeling exactly what we're Lincoln, feeling right now. Lincoln Riley had been wearing a gray pullover the whole game and came back after halftime in a red hoodie. That is he not. Got cold. He got cold. No. He got cold. <laughs> Was that cold there? Was it that cold there? Oh my goodness! There's something to it. I'm just saying, but. All right. Let's, let's get, get well, let's let's work. get whatever he did. It didn't work. Right? Yeah, exactly. It, work. No, it got worse. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. So yeah, it didn't work. That theory busted. So what we're saying though is that the curse of the uh, schooner tipping over does work because it's happened twice against the same team against the same team. So anyway, right, let, yeah. let's Wait. let's get to the controversy at hand. Okay, the onside kick, which was beautiful, it was beautifully executed. Perfect. It hit. Um, Trajan Bridges. Trajan Bridges. Rob, let's get your view of it first. Was Trajan Bridges blocked into the ball? Well, from from my point of view, uh, from you know the replay that I have seen, it definitely looked like he was blocked into the ball. Which, by rule, which I you know I had several people send me that rule yeah. straight from the <laughs> straight from the rule book. Um, you know, that would have made it a live ball. It should have been our ball on the, whatever it wound up on, like the 30 or something. Right. Which we would have scored a touchdown on if that happened, and too. And tied the game up. But, Won the game. But here, tied the game, yeah. We not, not only here, – here's my view. Not only was he blocked into it, he was blocked in the back into it. So we should have right. got another 15 yards. But – Well, like, like I said, it was hard to tell. It did definitely look like that's what happened. But maybe it wasn't. But I don't know. Well, Lincoln Riley in his press conference, um, that's why Caleb wanted to do this immediate podcast, which is, again, a first for Sooner Football fans podcast, immediate reaction to a game. Um, Lincoln Riley said that was his argument. Was We saw him yelling after the game. Like, why, yeah, what's he, this he stood for? Because it, it, <laughs> it was obvious that it, was, it, hit, it hit us. It was obvious. But you saw Lincoln yelling in the sidelines angrily after, like, after the game was over. Like still, and like the walk on the field, Lincoln still in the, in the officials' ear. But reason why is that go tell him what, what 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 did the officials tell him that he was not blocked into the ball. 
That's the, what that's what the Big Twelve officials told me. The Big Twelve weekend. officials. I don't I don't care what angle you look at it from. It's obvious. It was obvious. Like, there, if you got a guy on you and you go into the ball, you're being blocked into the ball. Right. Can I go my rant my fast? Okay. okay. We're going to let Caleb go into his rant, Rob. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, I have told Caleb. I'm going to try to be PC. And be like he's going to try to be PC and clean. I tr- you know, He's my youngest son. I'm very angry, very passionate. He's very angry and very passionate, so this may be PG-14, not PG-13, but I've told him to keep it clean, so we're, he's going to do his very best. Yeah. Let's let Caleb rant for a minute. So when the game started, I didn't feel good at all. And then about half times, like, this game's not good at all. We might lose this game because it just has that feeling of a college football game that, that we should win, but the we're keeping the – lower team in the game so they have confidence i mean at the end of the third quarter i thought the game was over like we're done yeah. it's embarrassing we slowly came back we were down 48 to 23, 23. yeah yeah i was like this game's over this is embarrassing this is a baylor all over again when we lost to baylor we slowly came back oh you got my hopes up again and then we scored again like what like uh to make it a seven point game i'm skipping ahead right now because i'm trying not yeah. to with a minute, too angry with again. a minute forty eight yeah. left, I think was what it was. Now, when we get the when we get the onside kick, we recover it. I'm going crazy, running around the house. I see hit our, hit our player before I knew the rule. I was like, "All right, hit us, we lost." Slowly but surely, I, I mean, and then we lost the game, took a knee, and like I accepted that we lost. And then I'm on Twitter, reading the rules. Which Sooner so, fans were sending yeah, us? Everyone, sent Rob, everyone, sent every, everybody's. Yeah. Tweeting out the Same rules. I'm getting more mad. Like, I got, I'm starting getting angry seeing that. I was like, is this happening again? We get uh, Oregon happening again. Like, we deserve redemption from Oregon. Like, we have a guy. Like, we need something back from Oregon. And slowly but surely, I see that. I see that rules. And then I then when I saw the Big Twelve official tell Lincoln that he wasn't blocked into the ball, I lost my mind. <laughs> I ran all over the house, and he did yelling at everything. Like, like what is this? Like. How does this happen again to us? Like twice in what, 10, 15 years? Uh, onside, onside kick has gone against us twice. The Oregon game, we recovered the ball. We had the ball. We showed the ball to the referee. We had it. This is clear as day. We got blocked into the ball. And the referee tells Lincoln that he was a blocked in the ball. What is this bull crap? Not only is it that ruins a whole season, it ruins the college football playoffs. Our, now, our goal now is to play in the Fiesta Bowl against SMU or some BS team like that, like, this is total BS that that happened to us again. Like, we need a break from from this. Like, it's, it's just how? Yeah. How is it happening to us? But, Rob. So, is uh, is Jalen Heisman out the window as well? Yeah, yeah, it has to be. I mean, even though he went for, like, 400 yards, five I touchdowns, mean, but, I, but we lost he had to, on the field. I mean, right now, we're watching the LSU-Auburn uh, game. Burrow's not playing very well, but – we're in the Big 12, and we're also had two hives in a row. There's no way in hell, heck, that they're going to give us a three. I don't know. I mean, I I haven't seen the final stats. All I know is, you know, we were tweeting or not tweeting, uh, texting during the game. I think uh, Oklahoma had 271 yards of total offense at halftime, and Jalen had 243 yeah. of those yards. Well, I mean, so, I think the, the he, had, he had almost 500 yards of offense, yeah. and like five touchdowns. Like he, so it wasn't Jalen's fault. Like first off, like. The worst play of the game, honestly, is Rambo dropping, dropping, the, dropping oh that thing the interception. That changed a the whole wide game. Open pass after that, that changed the whole game right there. If that, if that, what the heck was that? Okay, I'm sorry. There's a live reaction to the Auburn game. <laughs> we have the Auburn LSU yeah, but game on. Why? Like that? The Rambo tip, the interception changed the whole game pretty much because because we're still up at that time. It wasn't comfortable, but once they got that, the whole momentum changed. They had ball at halftime, and it just wasn't the same after that after that play. But Jalen stats though, like he could still maybe win the Heisman, but well, I he's, mean, not be, he's, he's not going to beat. He's not going to beat. He's not going to beat Burrow or Tua now. I don't think because I don't know. He still might. You know, here here's the thing. Okay, well, right now all we have to root for is the Heisman because we are not going. We're not going to be in the playoffs unless something. Unless everybody loses. You know, Alabama loses to Arkansas. Notre Dame has to lose again now. Yeah, everybody has to lose a game. Ohio State's not going to lose because that that young guy is a freak. But we, you know, now we're forced to to uh, root for a Heisman, not a Natty, basically. Which which you hate to do. I freaking hate. 
everybody should hate the fact that, you know, we could very well have three in a row Heisman Trophy winners and no national championships. No national championships. Listen, listen, if we play like that again, we're not even going to win a Big 12 championship, much less a Natty or a – Exactly. We, we, still got, we still got Baylor to go. Baylor is undefeated. Well, Rob, we already explained to you the reason we play this bad is because the Sooner Schooner curse. That's the reason we play this bad, all right? We already explained this already. I mean, this, this is already out of the way now. I mean, that's the whole reason we play that bad. Oh, it's it was it was. So it, since we won't have a we won't have a schooner at the next game, does that mean that curse is gone? Or is that going to ride with us? I mean, how's that work? Well, what sucks now is that we have a buy now, so we have to sink this in. But yeah, I mean, and hope, it's already so, happening. Like Caleb, you know, like Caleb said the the worst part about this loss is highlights. Or any loss highlights. all day long. Guess what? We're going to see it every oh, commercial got, break. Do, 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 got dominated. Ugh. That's why I hate living in games, just because something like this happens. Like. Okay, Rob. So, what, what's what's the plan for the for the Roughnecks on the uh, next home game? What are they what are they plan on doing? They don't they don't know yet. Don't know yet. Yeah, they haven't shared that with me. Yeah, and and they don't share that stuff with Rob. So, but I, I'm I'm, just, I'm just um, curious. Yeah, I know, but I mean that's one thing that people need to understand because we get DMs all the time. But is, they, know, they know that, yeah, yeah, that you know we everybody knows that Rhett is a is a Roughneck. You know, Rob's younger son, but. He doesn't share stuff with Rob because it's against the policy. Yeah, it's you know, hey, they're they're an organization within the universe, and plus they want to, you know, it's not just policy; they want to surprise everybody because Rhett knows me and Rob. If he tells us anything, we're going to share it, right, Rob? Right. <laughs> <laughs> if they got something cool going, we're going to go. Oh my God, guys! The rough, you know, the roughnecks are going to do this, but we don't know what's going on. All right, so. Rob. So you heard my dad thoughts throughout the game. Can we get your thoughts throughout the the game? Yeah. Shoot. What? Let's just end this now. It's a short podcast. We decided to do a short podcast. Let's each give our breakdown of what we thought happened in this. All right. Game. I, already, I already did mine, so you guys can do Rob, yours now. Caleb did his. Rob. Absolutely. Rob, do your so, rant. Yeah. In the beginning, I thought we were. Comp- Completely out coached. They were Fact. they were they were two steps ahead of us coaching wise. Right. So it, it's hard to overcome that on the field. Not to mention Kansas State showed up not I mean, they didn't have nothing to lose. Right? For us, this is just get us the next week so we can prepare for Baylor, right? The, to, the, to us this was not a, that big of a game and, and now that they stuck an L on us, we should you know, we should have Obviously, looked at this as a much bigger game than it was. But for Kansas State, this big number five Oklahoma coming in, they had everything to to win and nothing to lose. And when you got a team like that, you really got to play up to them because what we tried to do, or I feel like, is play down, and that just didn't work out because they punched us in the mouth and we had no response. Yeah, I mean. The defense, I think, got exposed on the edge, which was something that we've talked about on the podcast before. Um, Texas Tech exposed us on the edge, and that's really where they had their success. When they when they kind of there was a couple of plays they caught us in in some stunts, you know, up front that they got some big yardage. But Oklahoma's corners and safeties and everybody that were undersized, and if you get helmet on helmet on our edge, you're going to win it, and that's what. You know, Kansas State exposed. They exposed the speed D. Um, we should have been able to, uh, you know, we come out and get a three and out, and it took us what seemed like an eternity to get another three and out. Um, we got no stops. We got the the horrible turnover from the Sooners, um, which, again, who was it that missed the pass, Caleb? Which one? Uh, the... Oh, Rambo. Rambo. Rambo, you know. Which I Rambo's mean, awesome. I love, I love Rambo, that, but how? Yeah, you, you get hit in the numbers, you catch that pass. That numbers but, hit in the hands. Hit yeah. in the hands. Those numbers. They hit in your chest, hit you right in the hands. But uh, the Sooners gave up their first. Oh, it's not that, too. And also, uh, Pledger with uh, fumbling the, yeah, the swift the, kick, too, the which the also kick. killed us. But, uh, I mean, also on, the defense all year long has stepped up and not given up any points on turnovers. And this game, they did. Seven point game, and Caleb's fixing to rant I got about more the complaint. field goals. Field I goals. Can tell what he's fixing the to do. Field goals. Dad saw me the whole time of the game. 
we have the best offense in the country. We're on the road against a piece of crap team. Sorry, I was going to say something bad, but I held back. Against a POS team, and we kick a field goal. That's a win for Twice. them. That's yeah. a win for them. I agree with we, it. Should, we have the best offense in the country. We have Jalen Hurts. They can't tackle that guy. He carried two guys in the end zone in his first run. Go for it. Go for at least one time. Guess what? The whole game's different. Like, that kicking for goal yeah, for them is a win for them. And that both, they made no sense at all. Because if it was fourth and long, yes, it makes it sense. It was fourth and two and fourth and three. Why? We have Jalen Hurts. We have Kenny Brooks. We have Trey Sermon. We have CeeDee Lamb. Why are we kicking field goal right there? You know, I, I mean, at the time. That says the right thing? It's a right, you know, at the time you think about it, it's the right thing because if we don't get a uh, fourth down conversion, you know, that gives them all the momentum, but, but it still a, gave them a momentum. Bo- a field goal, field was, goal gave them the momentum. A field momentum goal was, was momentum because that's that's a win for them. That's a huge win. We're the best office of the country. Hold us a field goal. That, that's, 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 might as well stop us. Stuff. Might as well stop us. Like, yeah. I say, if it's fourth and five, fourth and six, I, I get it. But when it's fourth and two and fourth and three, it makes zero sense to me with with our offense. So, Rob, thoughts right there, fast, Rob. Yeah, you wanna you wanna. So come... I also want to know. I also want to know why we're running all those weird trick plays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, they we worked. Can... They worked. They worked. But it's so annoying that we had to run those against Kansas State. You run trick plays against. Well, here's the thing: you run trick trick plays against teams that you that are giving you problems defensively and that's what they did they were they were they they, they were being our our but we had okay all the, game long the, you, you realize that the oklahoma offense had back-to-back three and outs coming out of halftime that's terrible that that's never happened since Lincoln yeah. been there it was uh, but you, you know what thing about trick plays you run trick plays when you know it's kind of been Lincoln's, you know, uh, holster, you know, like regardless of who he plays, but you know, when you start reverting to trick plays, it means you've you, you know, the defense is giving you something that you're not used to. That's just my opinion. I mean, I don't, I don't mind them too because like it shows like more wrinkles for everyone else, but we well, we kind of needed to do it because like they were getting pressure on Jalen all day. We couldn't run the ball on them, really, besides Jalen run plays. The, the, the problem was, the, was our uh, their offensive line kicked our D-line's butt, and we could not get to the quarterback at all. I, 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 I was pointing to Twitter. However, we, I will we, say, we, we, I will we, say that in the fourth quarter, that uh, third down better. stop that Gallimore you know, grabbed the guy with one arm and slammed him to nice. his back was, was pretty impressive. I, mean, I, I saw on Twitter, we made a guy named Skyler. Look like Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean that's what we did today. We got in Skyler like Tom Brady today because he he picked us apart. Yeah. It was just, like I said we shouldn't have won this game at all. I don't mind losing this game, but the way we lost this game was what made me mad because we should have. We got screwed over at the end, but they it's, outplayed they, they outplayed us all game yeah. long. They outplayed us. Which You're, that that's the point is you know Oklahoma got outplayed, didn't deserve to win the game, but they didn't deserve to lose the game because of a bad call. The way they lost the game. On a onside kick, agreed, yeah. Rob. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, so we didn't deserve to win it, but we didn't deserve to lose it with a bad call on um, on the onside kick. But that's what happened. That's what happens when you leave the game up to referees. Yeah. When you take it out of especially, your own hands, especially Big Twelve referees. Big Twelve referees are the worst. So, so um, you know, this year uh, our, our our sights are set on the Big 12 championship, which is obviously not a given now. And if we win the Big 12 championship, a, a trip to Fiesta Bowl against SMU. Fiesta Bowl, you don't want to go to the Fiesta Bowl, Rob. And which ball? Which, not what? real. No, <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, neither was. But I mean, that's the best case scenario. Now, I was like, yeah. I mean, I mean, re- it's just. I mean, it's a New York Six Bowl. I mean. I mean, I, I hope Fiesta because maybe we can hit up Boyd Conway and go with hang out yeah. with them out in Arizona. That's what I'm saying Fiesta Bowl for. If we can get, if so we, you're assuming though that we're not going to play like this again and we're going to win out. 
Oh, you don't. You always. Oh, you we did, uh, better one. We gotta say this. Oh, we got. We, we gotta say this for tomorrow now. This is supposed to be a short podcast, but it's going on to a, a normal one. <laughs> yeah, we were we trying. Had, we yeah. were trying for a ten minute podcast, and we're hitting, no chance. You were shooting on thirty minutes. Wait, right there's, no, there's no way we're gonna do a ten minute podcast after a loss like that. <laughs> like, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but we need. We need. Okay, we need to save this this conversation for tomorrow because tomorrow's podcast. Yeah, for so Monday's we, podcast, we'll we'll, we'll hope, talk about the uh, the the sooner hopes for the the coming year. I hope you all enjoy our raw emotions from the loss. Yeah, Rob, we may, have, Rob, we may, have, to, we may have to do this more often. What do you think, Rob? Well, hopefully, we don't lose more often. I mean, I well, mean, I mean, even on wins, immediate yeah, raw right, emotions. Right, yeah, I mean, this is the best way to do it because you get you get the your true feels after the game. But like I posted yeah. on Twitter, you know, this is a day that I wish I had a liquor cabinet, not a beer fridge. No, you still have liquor out there. <laughs> <laughs> so. But uh, I think we ought to cut it off right now before we, you know, start jumping into more important facts that we're going to discuss on Monday's podcast that we'll be recording on Sunday. But um, yeah, until no one can hear me crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but, uh, but I'm, I'm I'm a little tipsy right now. I, I don't want to say words that make people angry. Tune too. us off. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm 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 being I did a good job today. I'm gonna pat myself on back for not cussing at all. So good job. But Caleb. I will I will say that you know good job Caleb, but I will say this. I put it out on Facebook. You know, it's Terry Long on Facebook, but Caleb is my dad reborn with Sooner football games because my dad was the most negative guy during any game. Okay, we could be beating I, I've said this before. We could be beating Kansas. 42 to nothing and Kansas score in the third quarter and my dad go ballistic. Caleb <laughs> is almost unbearable. Well, I'm sorry. Watching when Oklahoma was playing bad. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, I've only seen one championship in my lifetime. That was that was when I was five years old. So I mean, I haven't seen I've been, I haven't I haven't seen these national championships like you guys have seen before. Yeah, I haven't experienced them before. So I so when something goes wrong, I expect the, the negative because I haven't seen it go the other way yet. So. No. So, Unlike you guys, you guys actually, you guys have seen ch- titles in your lifetime. How many I titles haven't... have we seen, Rob? Uh, let's see, 75, 76, yeah. 85, 2000. We've seen four titles, yeah. haven't we, Rob? I've seen, I've seen one. I was like five years old. 75. Yeah, 74, 75. Yeah. 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 yeah, I saw one. I was in kindergarten when I saw it. So, I mean, I don't <laughs> remember it really. So, <laughs> I don't get, I don't get my hopes at... up. Do what, Rob? And I was at the 2000 game. Yeah, yeah. Does that really count now? Do you, you know? I mean, <laughs> it does count. It does, <laughs> it does definitely. Count. It definitely counts. It counts. But anyway, um, title hopes for this year are pretty much gone They're for gone. the Sooners, except for a Big 12 title, which yep. uh, five straight isn't bad for us uh, for a team. But um, that's it for this quick, uh, what 30 minute podcast on uh, Caleb's response to the bad call on the terrible bad call. Terrible call. Terrible call. Oregon on, bad call. Oregon on, on bad the call. onside kick. We appreciate everybody to listen. Boomer Rob. Boomer Jerry. Big 12 refs suck, Caleb. Oh, terrible.